During our stay in Shanghai, we decided to be adventurous and venture outside the city to see what small town China was like. Consulting the guidebooks, the town of Zhangzui Water Village came very highly recommended. So on a very, very cold day in February, we got on a public bus to make the roughly 90-minute trip to the village. On the way, we saw the flatlands that encircle Shanghai with their mix of farms and factories. Once we arrived, we took a cycle rickshaw into the town center and paid roughly $8 to enter the city. It was well worth it. This 900-year-old village has been remarkably well preserved. The Chinese gondolas, arched stone bridges, and tile roofs create an environment of stepping back into time, even in the midst of the crushing crowds of Chinese tourists. We were fortunate in that we had timed our visit to China to land during the Chinese New Year. In celebration of this important Chinese holiday, musical shows have been arranged by the town to entertain and educate the guests on ancient Chinese music. While we enjoyed the beautiful arrangements, we also took the opportunity to walk through a 400-year-old home that has now been converted into a museum. Even today, the town depends on canal traffic to move products and people. In the old days, these waterways were the primary means of transporting pottery, rice, handicrafts, and silk to Shanghai. Zhu Zhuang is one of thousands of water villages that once dotted the delta. It is one of the very few that still preserves its original landscape and canal system. These days, it caters to tourists who flood the town 
especially on weekends, and clogged the narrow lanes on either side of the main canal. Of the 36 stone bridges that cross the town's waterways, nearly all date back hundreds of years. The most famous is a double bridge, consisting of two arches built during the Ming Dynasty and linked to form an image resembling that of an ancient Chinese key. Several of the 200 to 400 year old homes are open for visitors to tour. Many of these homes of village leaders are decorated with Qing Dynasty furniture. The main canal is lined not only with craft and antique shops run by villagers, but also by art students who come to paint the serene vistas that are the hallmark of the town. The main canal is also the site of dozens of simple restaurants, each with a view of the canal. We enjoyed a simple rice, chicken and fish meal while we watched the gondolas navigate the canal. <laughs> The highlight of the visit is to see the village by taking a ride in the gondola up and down the waterways. Driven mostly by women, they steer the eight-person boats, and if you are fortunate, they will sing for you. Oh, my God. 